Hey everybody, Bobchies here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, I am currently defending versus the Tengri Great Holy War to reclaim Cumania. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult to defend this. Uh, to the Raging Warlock touch out. Oh yes, of course I'm possessed. Uh, his money, don't speak about it. Cool. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so that's good to know. Um, okay, let's have another blackmail session. I've got so much gold. Holy crap. Right, let's, what, what, let's, let's spend some money. Um, let's go castle walls. Castle walls are very important. That's building. That's not. We'll go church town with this one. Um, church town there. I think a way to get just more money is always good. Um, city guild hall for that. This, I'll build a barracks. This can be militia. Uh, barracks there. And a training grounds, actually. I, yeah, why not? Get more retinue. So uh, that's all I'll spend for now. Because, yes, I've got, I've got almost 5,000 gold. But, that you know, that's penny pinching. That's how I've got this far. So, yeah, it's just improving relation with the Caliph. Send the witch to the holy leader of the Sunny Faith. He does not like me, like one bit, and even with uh, improved relations. He's 32 diplomacy, that's incredible. Am I trying to, I'm not trying to kill anyone. I probably should be. Who are you? Why do I want to kill you? Why, am, why do I want to kill you? I'm a bit confused. Um, what's the, is he, yeah, he'll be Catholic as well. Alright, I'm confused who this guy is and one trying to kill him. I probably had a very good reason for it, but for now I will not do that. Anything here worth doing? Kill kill the King of Scotland, apparently. That's, that's what I want to do. Revoke counties, kill various people. No, I'm not going to do any of that. What I will do is go and help uh, with this battle, which is now roundly in our favour. 75% war score now. Um... And I'm going to move over here and hope. Who you want to be new marshal? You are very good. Holy crap, you're good. You've got no diploma, no social skills whatsoever. But who needs it when you're smacking people with a sword? So this isn't my witch, is it? No, she's not the witch. She's just some random woman. Um, she's leading troops. Fine. You improve relationship with the with the caliph. All good. I'm gonna, once I get here, oh, small profit, give me more money, thank you. See, yeah, I'm getting so much money just from my intrigue skill here. So we're gonna continue on trying to advance and catch this army, and maybe they'll stop, make it really even, well, not even fight, easy fight is a better way to describe it. My, all my allies are coming, so this shouldn't be much problem whatsoever to crush this army and win the Great Holy War, which this should do. 85% war score. Are they getting any war score from any occupation? Lost control. Ah, oh, they took some land all along there. That's fine. It's not actually part of the uh, war target, is it? It's Cumania. Like, oh, successful crusade for Italy. What? Who was that against? Okay. So the Fraticellis have been beaten. It's now that guy in command. Interesting. That's kind of disappointing. I like the idea of Fraticelli Italy. That was pretty cool. They do have a claim on... Is that... Um, oh, it's just a county. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty pretty funny, to be honest, that they've, they've actually won it. And it went to some guy who had absolutely no, no uh, influence in that fight at all. I've become Nestorian again. A bit irritating. I mean, no one seems to fuss to the fact that I'm. I am a terrible human being. I'm only 35 as well. This is fine, though. This is all fine. Um, I'm not going to lead the my armies. That's probably not a good way of you know living. Um, my brother does not like me whatsoever. Elective heretic, homosexual. I just, yeah, he doesn't like me. So I'm going to try and kill him. My kinsman. 
Yeah, I'll lose a uh, decent commander, but it's better than having him be a problem. And what's this? In the I do not have much in the way of troops at all. Turkestan and Armenia would turn against me. I'm going to send... Oh, we're inviting her to a plot. Hopefully this won't fire. Uh, engage him in field... Yeah, engage him in theological debate because I'll be able to convert him. Hopefully. Uh, back to Massalian when I go back over to that side. I will convert, which is... Doesn't actually. There's no difference between them, so I'll just go back to Massalian again and hope that that stops everyone trying to hate me. So, a 92% war score here. Am I getting ticking war score? Yes. 65% I'm currently on. So all I need to do is... Well, my Bulgarian allies are killing them for me, which is nice. Um, so once... They're, they're killing people who are trying to occupy stuff. Stop... Oh my god. Duchess... You fool. You drunken fool. Ah, well. So, we'll kill this army. Like so. We're on 93% now. And we're just going to sort of sit here, to be honest. I'm uh, going to keep an eye on the south. My powerful neighbours. I do want to actually start towards ending this series. Because it is getting a bit... Lengthy. It's almost a hundred episodes. This is eighty-one. I was wrong last episode or episode before when I said it was ninety. I got confused with the uh, numbering. Uh, I'm no longer Roth, and I'm 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 the, I'm a werewolf. I forgot about this. And I'm ill. And someone else has let them know that I'm trying to kill them, which is you know nice. You bastards! You occupied it. Let's go kill this army and uh, and you know get this land back because this is really annoying I want to win this holy war so I can actually do something else and you want to be betrothed oh yes yes I remember now yes okay cool so she's greedy and proud hopefully satisfying enough that he will actually uh, give her a, give her a kid so I can press their claim later on or at least make them my heir because elective yay and this army can go and kill this this other one. Army of Giazis, Tengri Church. I'm just going to have a sip of tea. Okay, he's going to die by poison, which is good. Apparently, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So across the river, but it shouldn't be too big a deal. Yeah. And on 96% more score now because my allies... Bloody hell! Good God, 20,000 troops. Event spawned. Oh, he's a liberator. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> cool. So, uh, they're now on my side, which is great. I'm going to disband this, these levies because I don't think I'm going to need them. I think my, my 18,000 allied troops will do the job. 98%. We're almost, almost finished. And I'll get a nice boost to my moral authority and cripple the Tengri moral authority, which is very good. Always good to cripple your enemy's influence. Um, and it means I can arrest that guy, which I will now do. Cool. Not sure why I wanted to do that, but now you can just be rotting in prison. You can ransom you 25 gold. Not going to do that. Going to have a new court chaplain. You can try and convert my land because my land is still staunchly Tengri, and hopefully they'll see the light after I fend off this great holy war. 100% war score. They will now say yes. We are totally beaten. Yes, you are. And there we go. So, my moral authority is currently at 43, which is quite low, to be honest, but without any holy sites. Pretty decent. So, let's have a look at the world. Do I have any sort of influence in attacking the Shaven. So they're back to 42,000 troops, which is not great. Um, they're winning that now. They're winning that one. They're not They're not winning that one, which is good. Um, but otherwise, they're in a good spot, which is a bit irritating. Uh, I'm going to replace her with this guy. Send you to improve relations with the Caliph. Because I don't want him to attack me, because that would really, really suck. 
A messenger from my lord Leviathan. I gain two intrigue. I've got a faction. That's what I gain. I think... Yeah. I think it's just... It's, it is dragging on quite a bit. So I think I'll now actually start looking at... Um, going for a custom empire. At least I... I don't know. I could go for Tartaria. That's a much larger empire now. Since the Horse Lords update. So maybe not. But... It's definitely worth a worth a consideration. Now, uh, yeah, so I might go your special friend, my our son. He, why is he suddenly the special friend? Why do you have to make it so creepy? Why is her special friend? They're the lovers. They're not lovers. Thank God, that would be bad. So he's Marshall. He's not the worst Marshall ever. So fine, you can stay Marshall. You can train troops. And generally be useful. Uh, what is this faction need to worry about? Uh, is it lower crown authority? Lower crown authority. The Duke of Kiev. I'm going to send him a gift. Uh, was that the... It is. Duchess of Itil. Give you some gold. Stay out of factions, please. I don't want to have to deal with that. Thank you. Do I have much in the way of retinues? I don't. I'm going to spend a lot of money... Not that much money, actually. That was disappointing. How little, how much cataphracts actually cost now. But either way, they are useful. So I'll have them quite happily. Um, yeah, so I'm going to actually look to see if I can form a custom king, custom empire. Which means I need to get prestige. Which means people are going to have to die. So let's go for a holy war. Um, these guys can go and join me as well. I'm going to raise up the Duke of Kiev's stuff because he already hates me, so I don't care. And what did we build? We built something. Castle walls. Good. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to let you rot. Stick in the, sit in the oubliette. Cool. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to start holy warring our way to, uh, to... To glory, really. Hopefully, hoping that the Caliph is not going to turn on me as soon as he's dealt with all those rebellions. Which would, you know, really suck. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to let the cat out of the bag. No, nope, just my room. Um, I need I need commanders. Holy crap, I'm reduced. I'm, I've got no commanders. So. Let's put some people in command. I've got some really great commanders here. So, you can be in charge, then you, and then you. Cool. So, we'll go and kill this army of Turov. And then we'll just start holy warring away, really. Samendus converted the Massalian. Great stuff. Anything I can do to gain prestige? No events popping up. A feast, maybe? Tournaments? All possible. Any new commander? Someone's probably died. I shouldn't have gone humble. I want to gain prestige. Will you... You dick. Let's, I'm going to try and kill him. If I don't, then whatever. I gain money and prestige from beating him. But still, it's irritating. So I'll send my army up here. And we'll just... I'm, yeah, I'm just going to start Holy War on my way north. The Holy Wars I can win. So, as far as I'm concerned, they're the best ones to go for. Um, the Caliph is... Winning that one and losing that one. Fortunately, it's not a huge revolt. I don't. Oh, actually, no. Yes, it is. Oh, dear. Hang on. Let me just sort out my uh, mouse. Because, yep, there we go. Cool. Um, I've worked out what that problem was a couple of episodes ago. It's There's a button on my mouse which affects the speed, which is pretty cool. But I'd, I like the speed that currently. I'll go prestige because I've got enough gold. So it's a bit dodgy sometimes when that happens. And who did I marry him off again to? Oh, I... my son in. Oh yes, yes, I remember now. So I'm going to send her a gift to improve her relation. Uh, he's already Massalian, so not big deal. Um, yes, I remember now. I married him off to his sister's daughter-in-law. Which is the weirdest, one of the weirdest things I think I've done in this game so far. 
just had a sip of tea there. Um, quite happy that all of this is still pagan, to be honest. I'm fully expecting this guy to convert, which should just be not good. Uh, and you're already known as unfaithful. Well done. You don't have a lover, though. I'm no longer humble. Good. We need to be proud. We need to gain lots of prestige. Lithuania is Catholic. Unfortunate. Uh, I have become Roth. I smell prophet. Ah, we've got a peasant revolt. So once we once we've won this holy war, we'll go and kill them. And give me money, thank you. I'm losing a fortune in gold. Is that from my retinues? I think it is. And we've got a faction as well. Um, oh dear, independence. Satrap of Dihistan. You you're on the border with the largest hostile powers on the map, and you don't want the the defense of my realm. You're just a troublemaker. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna what's my spy master currently doing? Studying technology, sod that. Start getting this guy on board. Because it's just not gonna not gonna fly with me, I'm afraid. This it's no longer a problem though, which is good, but he's still potentially a problem, so I'm gonna keep scheming with him. All of the Slavic world is getting involved. Nothing. Stop telling me to put people in, in charge. I did I did our son. He's half decent at the job, so it's not the end of the world. What is this? You want to marry my sister to your heir. Okay. Can't see that becoming a problem at all. So we're on 89% war score. Once I've occupied this temple, it will be mine. I smell profit. I keep smelling profit. So much profit is to be had from all these people's indiscretions. So, you want me to invite your... No, I don't know who that is. Not, not enough to want to kill them. Uh, okay, so you're a bastard attractive daughter of her. And unfortunately, you are a bastard, which is a, which is a shame because otherwise you'd have a really great potential job as my future heir, to be honest. I made this guy my heir because he's, he's a genius, but um, if I last long enough and my son potential, or my, my relative potentially has a claim on the Byzantine Empire, I might end up playing favourites and moving around a bit. So doing this will get me 50 prestige, which is not actually that much. Holy Wars do not give you a, a, a fortune in prestige, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, let's find someone worthy of this land. Someone of my religion, my culture. Uh, I'm going to give it to my... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it to my son. This guy, because he's content. So I'm not too worried about him being a troublemaker. There you go. Um, and then we'll go crush this uh, peasant rebellion. You want to marry her? Okay. That's a strong... Strong, strong wife. She's 14. Hang on. Oh, they're betrothed. I thought for a minute they were actually married then, which would be... Wait, that'd be game-breaking. That'd be a case of them actually not being of age and the game allowing it. Marriages did like did happen like that, but tended not to mean consummation until they were of age. So, we'll go crush this... Uh, these peasants, which won't give you the most prestige, to be honest. They are just peasants, after all. But... Um, it's still all all prestige in the pot. Because I am going to go for a custom empire. I've decided. I've waited too long trying to um, go for a sort of a, a, a more, not difficult, but a different strategy. Like trying to expand. It's just, it's just taking too long. So what I will have to do is I'm just going to go for the custom empire now. And if I have the potential to attack the Byzantines and claim it, such as... Oh my god, now would be a perfect time, to be honest. I mean, I possibly could. 100% war score, that's uh, false demands. So I gain like 20 prestige there, not much. I'll disband my levy. Farewell. And just because he's currently defending... Oh no, they're not actually uh, claimant wars. Could press the claim on the Byzantine Empire for my son-in-law. Okay, so they are currently 
45,000 troops. I have 20,000 plus my allies plus any mercs. Okay, I'm going to think about this and I'll see you next time.